writers write. You need to get writing and you need to get a number of scripts written. Don't just, in the United States, rarely do you sell your first script. In fact, sometimes in the U.S. people say you need to write at least five scripts, spend at least five years learning the craft, and then maybe you'll sell it or get an agent or have something happen with it. But uh, it is difficult, it's very competitive, and it's learning, it, it's learning the art in yourself, bringing that out, and learning the craft. So you read books, you take seminars, then you keep writing, you take some more seminars, you read some more books, you write some more, and you find your way. And I, um, I think it's a good idea for people to take seminars from a lot of people because one person might say something that you say, oh, I love the way he talks about that. And then I might say something and they say, oh, I like that whole thing. You know, I hadn't heard that before. And a lot of us who do seminars know each other, we're good colleagues, and we some, sometimes we find out from other students what is it that that person talks about that other people don't talk about as much. People say I talk more about subplots than a lot of other teachers. I do a lot more with theme and with cinematic image. And then recently I have the lecture I did here called Making a Scene, which was all a lot of different kinds of scenes that you will do in a script and what's the approach and how they work. So um, I think you want to just get a lot of knowledge. Just like when you go to college, you don't take just one, one teacher, you know, go to one class. And, and I have noticed, I don't think people do it as much now, but the beginning when there were seminars, people followed various people like they were gurus, you know, the, the great god or goddess of screenwriting. And that was the person who had all the answers. And I said, none of us have all the answers and don't do that. We are not little gods and goddesses. <laughs> we are teachers and there's a lot of good teachers out there. Here's what I think. I think as people become better at screenwriting and learn more about screenwriting, they are going to start playing with the form. Like Crash is a movie that plays with the form. I call it the interweaving structure and you have to all have all these stories balanced. That was not Paul Haggis' first script. He had been writing many years. So the screenwriter has to be writing for quite some time to get a form like that to work. There's a um, movie called Before the Rain, Macedonian movie, that is a circle structure. And I think that's fascinating. And there's um, what I call the loop structure in Pulp Fiction because it comes sort of back to where it was at the beginning. And um, there's called, I call the Groundhog Day the broken record structure. <laughs> it repeats that middle. And one of the people working with the series is Linda Aronson you know, from Australia. And then in my book, Advanced Screenwriting, I have two chapters. And one of them is a, a lot about playing with form, and one is about playing with time. So E2 Tambien from Mexico plays with time. Um, Red plays with time. So I think that um, the writers who get experience will start playing more and more with these forms. And I enjoy, as a script consultant, working with some of these forms and making them work because you can try to do them and then they all fall apart and you say, but it doesn't work, it's lost focus. So I'm, I'm even excited about the creation of new forms, but you can't do that on your first script. You do it on your 10th or your 20th or 10 years in the business. And some of it is because it takes a long time to learn mastery. I think, I have a saying, I think you can learn competence in five years and maybe excellence in 10 and mastery in 15 or 20. And there's some books written about this, how long it takes to really be able to know a form or to know an art well enough to begin to do new things with it. I mean, you can see the effect of a lot of teaching on scripts. Now, sometimes scripts get derivative and predictable because they think of structure or they think of these concepts as rules. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. He says, you don't have to do anything. You have to make the script work. 
These are concepts that will help you make the script work. And if you don't use these concepts, you better find another way to make it work. So, um, but as people get better at the concepts, they internalize them. So if you ask Paul Haggis about his structure of Crash, he might say, uh, well, I don't know. I would be better at telling him his structure of Crash because I'm objective and I broke out, I actually broke down all his 14 storylines. But so sometimes it, uh, the person who's done it doesn't know why it works. Well, it works because they've internalized a lot of these ideas.